Hey boos, in this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Oh, hell no. Hi guys, it's Yanni and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about Asian Doll. Now, if you don't know who Asian Doll is, she is an American rapper and songwriter. And I would also consider her to be an influencer because she has a very large following on Instagram and she's also pretty active on Twitter. So it was just a few weeks ago where Asian Doll found out that she basically lost the love of her life and his name is King Vaughn. Now King Vaughn, he is also an American rapper and songwriter and he recently died due to gun violence. A rapper who uh, is among those who were shot and killed in a gun battle in downtown Atlanta with three others dead and uh, injured as well. Atlanta police say the video posted on Instagram appears to show what happened. You can see people scattering last night as shots were fired after the fight outside of the business went out into the street. Responding officers returning fire while trying to intervene in that fight. 11 Lives with Tasha Givens has the latest. Well, this is an active crime scene with two parking lots partially roped off and GBI investigators still here on scene. This shooting made national headlines as officials confirmed one of the three people shot and killed was rapper King Vaughn from Chicago, who was here last night with friends. Two groups of individuals got into a physical altercation. That physical altercation uh, escalated into an exchange of gunfire. APD says the gun battle took place in three different spots near Trinity Avenue, where a total of six people were shot. Three have died. One of them, a rapper Davon Bennett, who goes by the stage name King Vaughn. His social media pages have been filling up with RIP messages and other artists sending their condolences. GBI says King Vaughn and a group of men left Opium Nightclub and went to Monaco Hookah Lounge early Friday morning. Investigators say after they arrived, two men approached the group in the parking lot and an argument ensued. From there, shots were fired. Investigators say APD officers nearby responded and both fired shots. But it's unclear if the men who were killed and hurt were hit by the officer's gunfire or the two groups. Aside from King Vaughn, no other victims' identities have been released. There is speculation on social media that another rapper may have been involved in the initial argument and shooting, but investigators have not confirmed that. And we're told no officers were injured during the shooting, but they say there was a seventh victim who was struck by a car during the altercation. That driver did not stop. Right now, police say they are reviewing surveillance video and conducting interviews. We'll bring you the latest details as they become available. Asian Doll has been very vocal about how she likes bad boys. She likes thugs. She likes shooters. And so it's just very unfortunate to see her lose someone like this that she really, really cared about due to gun violence. Now, King Vaughn, he is from Chicago, Illinois, and he was only 26 years old. And to see this man lose his life due to gun violence is just unfortunate. So before this incident, Asian Doll has made it known that she likes bad boys. She likes thugs. She likes rappers. She likes the fast life. She likes shooters. She has made that very known all over social media and also within her rap lyrics. So not too long ago, Asian Doll tweeted, please have at least three bodies before you talk to me. Boy, I like killers. So following the passing of King Von, we saw Asian Doll all over social media grieving his death with emotional outbursts and even suicidal tweets.
Asian doll was also found liking a tweet from a fan. It reads, at Asian the Brat, need that Vanessa Bryant and Chadwick Bossman wife type of support for her loss. So I wanted to give you guys my opinion and also some advice because I feel like young girls today are really misguided. People really feel like it's all fun and games until reality hits. And the reality of dating a bad boy, it could end like this. It could end fatal. I remember when I worked at a call center, there was a young girl that came into the job after the weekend and her entire arm was shot up all because she was in the car with a guy and she was being that ride or die type of chick and her whole entire arm was shot up. And it's just something I will never forget because I just couldn't believe it. And then hearing her tell her story, it was just so interesting to me because I couldn't understand why she was with someone like this to where just being in the car with him was danger to her life. So in my opinion, I feel like dating a bad boy, a thug, I feel like there are no long-term benefits. And if you feel like an Asian doll where you feel like you should date a bad boy and you feel like it would be exciting and it would be fun, you are literally headed towards a dead in ditch. And it could have you in the ditch. And that's a reality. And it's like, this is why I held off on making this video because I wanted to respect, you know, his fans. I wanted to respect his family. But also, I wanted young girls to understand that that is not a life or a path that is beneficial to you. That fast life is not a life that you really want to live because you don't want to deal with the consequences or the outcomes like Asian Doll, who is currently experiencing this loss. Another thing that I wanted to point out was the fan that tweeted Asian Doll saying that she deserves the Vanessa Bryant and Chadwick Bossman wife support, right? Due to her loss. And this is what's hypocritical about this generation. You guys say things like marriage is just a piece of paper, but when it comes to situations like this, this is a woman who's grieving all over social media because that's all she has. That's all she can do. She can reach out to his family, but she doesn't have any legal rights to any of his belongings unless the family decides to give her some of his things that maybe she wants to hold on to. But she legally doesn't have any rights to any of his items or belongings. So this is a woman that is grieving on social media. I feel personally, my opinion is that the reason why she's grieving all over social media is because that's all she can do. That's all she has. Now, we literally see a different 
grieving process when we look at vanessa bryant when we look at chadwick bossman you really don't see these wives on social media grieving in the same way that asian doll is grieving and i feel like partially it's because she just doesn't have anything else to hold on to other than social media you know pictures videos and fans and that's pretty much it she doesn't have anything outside of that so i really wanted to give you know young girls something to think about because i'm not going to tell you what you should do with your life i'm just going to tell you what it is and what it is is that if you have like this obsession with bad boys and thugs i just want you guys to understand that it's leading you to a ditch it's leading you to a dead end ditch and i just want you guys to you know support asian doll with this loss but i also want you guys to see the situation for what it really is and the fact that you know this generation loves to say marriage is just a piece of paper in this situation this piece of paper i feel like it could have gave her something more than just grieving on social media because i feel like she just doesn't have the support she doesn't have the support because that was not her husband that was not her man you know legally that's how they look at it if you want to play the game you have to play the game correctly and the game is marriage is still something of value and it's something that you legally need to have in your back pocket yes that piece of paper you need to have that so that you can have legal rights to your loved one if you're ever caught in a situation like this so i just wanted to give you guys something to consider and i feel like this is why we're seeing asian doll all over social media with all of these emotional outbursts and her on live crying and listening to his music and then also her getting a tattoo i feel like the main reason that she's doing this is because this is all that she has she doesn't have anything else you know it's really unfortunate he was only King Von was only 26 years old, 26 years old, 26. And lately we've been seeing a lot of rappers, young, just so young, so much life left to live, lose their lives to gun violence. So make sure you're not speaking this nonsense into your life because Asian Doll spoke this into existence. Did she necessarily speak king bond's death into existence no i'm not saying that i'm saying she spoke this lifestyle into existence and look where it has gotten her look where it has placed her and it's just really really unfortunate because i don't like seeing people have to grieve a loved one like this and it's very very hard to watch but at the same time, I really want young girls to see the situation for what it really is and to reconsider some things, some outlooks, some lifestyles, because at the end of the day, it could end just like this. So that's all that I have regarding this video. I would love your thoughts and opinions. So make sure you comment them down below and please be respectful. This is a woman who lost the love of her life. She has made that known and clear on social media. But I do want you guys to comment some advice for young girls and young boys that may be watching regarding gun violence and this fast life and how it's so glorified on social media but in reality this could be the outcome it could be fatal so that's all that i have regarding this video comment your thoughts and opinions down below and if you're new here subscribe hit that notification bell so that you are notified for when i upload this is real with yanni and i will catch you guys in my next video